Hey folks, welcome back to Repentance. In the last video, I tried <laughs> to play with Jacob and Esau and met my untimely demise. All good. I'm actually going to play with Bethany again. And this time we're going to explore the door thing. A door has appeared in the depths. Uh, thankfully, I know what to do, but besides that, uh, it'll be a new experience. Lots of fun. Let's see what we get into. I really like Bethany a lot, but unfortunately, <laughs> if I do complete this boss, then I will technically not play with Bethany, which is fine. I'll just reintroduce her every now and then. Ooh. I like that, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. We do have a sacrifice room. I do have a little bit of red heart shenanigans I can do. Ooh, getting the wooden nickel would be really sweet for money. First boss, Gemini. I firmly believe that the smaller twin has more health, but I think it's equal. I just believe differently than what I expect. My lowest stat was tier 8. That is shocking. Alright, let's do a little bit. Just a little bit. That's it. <laughs> I just wanted to see. No keys. That's the scary part. If I want to do the alternate floor, I have to find a key. Hey look, another sacrifice room. If I could get something like old bandage from the boss, then I could potentially do something with the sacrifice room. Or if I found the Yum Heart, which I don't really find outside of Maggie, interestingly enough. But there are some ways to get more Red Heart drops. Okay, still no key. I'm starting to get nervous now. No key means no item room, no shop, no dross. What that means is there's something somewhere that would help me get a key. I don't know what, but something out there would help me. Am I about to get the latch key? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, okay. Soul Locket is very good. Every time I pick up a Soul Heart, I get stats. 
This is another Bethany item, by the way. And the last Bethany run, I got her urn. This time I got Bethany's soul locket. I wonder what else I can get for Bethany. No bombs, no keys. The only thing I can do is just get hit by the sacrifice room and see if a gray chest spawns that then pops out a key. One more. Nope. Okay. No dice. Wow, that sucks. I think the what would have happened is I would have purchased a key from the first floor shop. That probably would have helped me in the long run. But honestly, without using the bomb on the angel, I would have tried to do the secret room, secret room potentially having like a sack or three keys on the ground or three bombs, and then trying to find the super secret and going from there. But there's a lot of risk involved in that hypothetical scenario to figure out where the key was hiding. All good. Sometimes you miss out on the item room, but there is a hidden blessing here because now there's a chance for me to find the planetarium. I think you have a chance to find the planetarium anyway, but obviously now I have a higher chance to find it because I missed my item room. Look, we got a key. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Ooh, that sh almost hit me. of the run I think I will try to find the secret room first before I use my key on the shop and I ooh, misspoke there used my key on the item room just kidding I got two keys <laughs> little chub is really good for damage by the way That's a start. That's some extra damage to help me along the way. Got a little bit more work to do. Guppy's head as a as an item is really nice. It's a one room charge, and then I get a lot of wisps from it. I think that's a pretty good item. Yay me! Also, that is one of three Guppy. For some reason, Guppy seems to be the 
number one thing I get for transformations. Perhaps it's like top three in competition with turning into mom and turning conjoined, I think. Those are probably my top three transformations. Oh no, we're gonna get a useless item. Oh, we have perfection. Nice. I will take it. Hopefully I don't get hit. Perfection is nice when you get it, and then it really sucks when you lose it. like that the halo of wisps is kind of like a shield for contact damage since enemies have to bounce off that first. Farting baby. Farting baby is like dry baby but he farts instead of do doing mass damage to the room. Let's do the boss. Why not? Oh no. This is not good. I saw that happening. I was in the corner. I didn't know where the rocks were gonna fall. So unfortunately, I just lost my deal and my perfection. It's fine, everything is fine. I do have the school bag, by the way, so if I do find another active item, I can start using both. Which will give me, as long as it's another, I'll say plane, as long as there's another plane of the wisps, I can stack them. So for example, if I did get the Bible again, I'd have one inner circle of Godhead tears, and then I could have an outer circle of the Guppy's head tears. Sir, please drop item. Thank you. What I really need right now is actually BFF, so I can make all my stuff larger. Larger things mean more damage, and we like more damage. Wow, duds in the item room. rough. That's my second dud item room in the run. The first one was on the last floor. It's not the biggest dud though because we did still have something assisting us. We got a school bag from it. Thank you, Placenta. The 
Interesting. Pay to win. Range up. Okay. I do want a potential devil style item. I would like to find some more hearts. Uh, sure. This could be a full heal even if it's bad trip. Nope. Dang, my tier rate is not good. Base damage, bad tier rate. This is a risk. Speed? Not the best. I don't like having a super low tier rate. I don't remember what pay to win does, but I believe if you give things to beggars, there's a chance for you to get some type of payout. Hence the name, pay to win. Cool, pentagram. That's nice. I'm gonna just bomb you. Equality, no thanks. Pentagram also gives a very slight increase in devil deal slash angel deal chance. Pretty good. This could be the super secret, but I'm going to save my bombs in this scenario just so I have a guaranteed chance to get something that I want. If I find a secret rock, or in this case a bedroom, then I can still bomb into them. Um, let's do it. Come on, risk. Gross. All right, I need two bombs or a oh, uh, get out of jail free card. That's what it's called. Get out of jail free card opens any door. Interesting room. No, thank you. but I don't have flight. Now this is interesting. I wonder how the crooked penny works with the book of revelations. I don't know. Thank you, placenta. Hey, a little bit of tier rate and a little bit of luck. All right, Brownie, be nice. You too, Dingle. What's our angel item? Seraphim. Hello, friend.
what I should have done was anticipate potentially needing to have a heart missing. And since I've already picked up the eternal heart, I need to find a blood donation machine or a heart beggar. Because if there's a bed in the bedroom, I can't sleep in it currently because I have red hearts and they are all full. Not my wisps. No, not my wisps. I do like the ghost pepper. Eh. I don't have a lot of resources to mess around with the rolls, so I just gotta take it. Oh wait! I think pay to win causes a, a machine to appear inside of the item rooms. Maybe that's what it is. Because I normally don't see that machine at all, but pay to win has been with me for most of the run. Two of clubs. We're learning. Oh, I need another bomb for this. I definitely didn't plan this correctly. Can I get a bomb, please? No? Okay. So I need to sleep in the bed to get the blanket. I also need to blow up the center here. Wow, they really don't let me change my appearance that much. Before we could get rid of most of the bad stuff. Anyway. So there's a chance for a crawl space in the center of the bedroom, but it could also be just a trap door. Both of those would be acceptable. And then the bed is used, like I said, to get the blanket. Blanket's nice because it gives you the holy mantle for boss rooms. And if you already have holy mantle, you just get a second holy mantle which is very good, especially for the lost. Kind of want to hit that, but I need to get more hearts if I'm trying to take on another boss. Hey, there's that door. Interesting. It looks, okay, so it's a white door. Hmm. Thankfully, I know what to do after seeing so many people play this game. There are like a, a few things I specifically remember. I'm like, oh yes, I would want to keep this one in mind. And opening that door is one of them. Unfortunately, I do need a bomb. Again. I had the perfection still, I think I would be getting a lot of nice drops. <laughs> Yuck. Maybe pay to win diminishes the shops in order to give you that machine inside of the item room. That makes sense. Whoa. Good thing I have a wall of, or a protection of wisps. Jeez. Oh right, I need to look around. Right there. See this skull with an X on it? X marks the spot. That is a full card. We're gonna need that. The special area requires you to not venture down to mom. You need to go away from her. So if we're thinking about the storyline here, going away from mom would take you to the other person in the equation, which is dad and so 
the full card would take you away and put you in the same room as this particular dad related event. In this case, that door is where the home was where the full card is used. So, hey, awesome. The full card takes you in that room. We love it. Woo, go us. More tier eight. Yay! Also, it just dawned on me that the guppy's head does not actually give the flies. Instead, the flies are the wisps. Not sure why it took me until now to realize that. Chemical peel. I don't think I've taken this. Chemical peel and blood clot are the same. So every other tier is going to be boosted. I am curious now if both of them are active at the same time or if they alternate. Like, is my second shot, like, super strong now? I don't know. So we're going to take on Mom. It doesn't matter which of the pictures we take. I'm just going to pick up the Polaroid because it's white and it matches the door. But we're actually going to sacrifice the picture. So we're going to take the picture and we're going to poof. So normally you can't even leave that. You have to get a moon card, stars, or I guess the twin, and then the full card. Those will all take you away. But we're going to now sacrifice our Polaroid to open the fancy door. I think this is still Mausoleum, if I'm remembering. But instead of going to Mausoleum 1, we instantly went to Mausoleum 2. Makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. Oh, because Mausoleum 2 is okay. Mausoleum 2 is not a problem. Because we we'll still have an item room and we'll still have a shop. I was just thinking about what that means for room layout. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh well, I'll be fine. Or I won't. <laughs> we'll see. This is the best time to give me some damage and some tier 8. I was going to say, I think we're going to fight Greed now. This is fine, because I can reroll the machine in the item room a lot, since I have lots of coins. Let's see if we can find something remarkable. Didn't even realize we had the homing shot fires in that room. Give me damage, give me tier rate. Tech point five. Yes, but I need something better for what I'm about to do. Book of Sin is nice. Oh right, I have two active items. Whoops. 
Not the end of the world. This does give, like I said, it does give me a chance to generate wisps now. Nice hit, you jerk. So now every four rooms, I get a second wisp created from the Book of Sin. There's some tier eight. We're very slowly building the tier eight up. Just gotta have faith and keep going. Baby Bender. That would work if I had normal babies, but because I have Seraphim, it's already a homing shot anyway. Still no damage up, that's very unfortunate. Am I going to win? I honestly don't think so. I just remembered what I have to do. I'm glad I I'm glad I remembered it because I think this is my last chance to do it. So I'm gonna take baby bender and drop it in the item room. I think that's okay. And then I'll take pay to win and I'll also drop that in the boss room. I don't actually know why this matters, but I know it does. What is that? Dad's note. Okay, there we go. So we take Dad's note. Spent it. It's gone. Just and then bam. It. So now there's some dialogue and I'm in the mausoleum, but not really. I'm in the, I guess, faded version of the mausoleum. I'm not entirely sure what to call it, but it's a brand new floor. However, I believe I am okay I just need to go to my item room first. Oh, and because I missed an item room, I will be able to get it on the Ascension. That's good. All right, I hope this works. It did not work. Okay, maybe I needed to do it on another floor or something. But every time we meet a room, we have to ascend. So we're, instead of going down, we're going up. So now we're in depths too, which is normal. That's where we were prior. fan of gulping trinkets. I also like that they added the gulp trinket to the UI so we know which ones we've acquired because they'll be in the list of items as if you got the actual item itself. Alright. Wow, that little jerk just ate up a bunch of my wisps. Can you honestly beat the the super boss of this game with this terrible damage? <laughs> I think it might take me a while. I don't have any health. I have like, I have six hearts. I'm nervous. 
Ooh, this is a interesting looking enemy. It's like the super butt monster. What do we have? Perthro and the devil? I don't need Perthro. I don't think we're going to be re-rolling anything. Okay, so I did have a trinket in here, so perhaps I haven't unlocked the item yet, or I'm going to unlock the item? I'm not sure. Dang, this thing shoots a lot of tears. I'm getting nervous because I'm losing a lot of my wisps now. jerk. If I win this run, I will be beyond shocked. Okay, so I have Ipecac. They're like, they look like Bob's brain? Wow, that's cool. So sometimes the green tears explode like Ipecac. <laughs> wow. Tear rate up damage down? Uh, I mean, sure. That's better. I'll take that. I think has a lot of health. Oh, jeez. Tear up. 0 0.08. Spectacular. Basement one. This is the final one. Oh, that sucks. I need my hearts. Can somebody give me a red heart drop, please? to see if that will break open. Maybe not. 
Oh, now you do it? <laughs> Come on, give me a heart drop. You know what? I wasn't specific, thank you. Oh, there we go, that's perfect. This thing is annoying. Look at it jumping around. Hippity hopping. All right, we made it. Welcome to the home. So in this scenario, we, you, you know, left the basement, which is Isaac jumped into the basement from home. So welcome home, Isaac, in this case, Bethany. A cute little TV, a couch, uh, a cross with some wings on the carpet. Oh, that picture. Oh, dad's head is crossed out. That's sad. This is mom's room. You can see mom's stuff. It's like here's mom's purse, the Bible, mom's lipstick, mom's mascara. I think that's mom's perfume. And then this is mom's pearl, but oh, the red key. Oh, 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 right. I need this. I think it's here. Do you see this faint outline on the door? This is the red key. So you do that. And then there's a person in here. They're locked inside. So you touch them. And now we got, air quote, we just unlocked Bethany, air quote. Who is she? I like the red key wisp floating around me. That's cool. Okay. Uh, will I win? Probably not. <laughs> also on the map, you can see that the room is red. We are not going to deal with red rooms in the game, but I will talk about that later. Anyway, let's see if I die. Um, what? Oh, the bed. The bed. Something's wrong with that TV. And it's dark now. This is like a scary movie. Whoa. Okay. This is dogma. And it's protected by the TV. Okay, well. Looks like we know what we're gonna fight. Oh, what the heck is this? What? What? No, 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 no. Back up. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Okay, so that was the first form? Oh, it's like an angel. That's cool. Oh, 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 what, what? Feathers. This thing is rude. <laughs> okay, you got me. Congrats. Hope you're happy, jerk. Whoa, not cool. Can farting baby block any of the feathers that fly? Haha, get burned, you jerk. That was easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip it, but I think the home like breaks apart and then you meet the evil of all evil. That thing in the background. 
I need more wisp though. Uh, so the big thing in the background is guarded by the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Okay, that was rude. So in this case, we gotta beat all four of them. They're a little bit different than their original forms. But nothing a little fire can't fix. This version of Pestilence is crazy. Because of that. Oh! Didn't expect more tears to come out from that. Am I supposed to go through this? Okay. Oh, what is that? No backup? <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> Don't rain down your tears. Wait. Whoa, you're mean. Oh, what is that? No, 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 no! <laughs> come on, come on. What is... <laughs> this attack is awful. Well, you are Wrath, so I guess that, that's appropriate. No, back up. Stay back. Okay, that's me. Oh, that was explosive. The last one I think is Conquest. This this one's really rude. That's why. Oh, that, I shouldn't have passed that way. Okay, time for the Ghost Pepper to activate. Please. Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. <laughs> Ghost Pepper. Please. Oh, whew, okay. This is it. Me versus the big nasty. So this is like a, what, like a traveling fight or something? I gotta watch out for the spike things. Okay, it's trying to suck me in. <laughs> nice try, you jerk. Oh! <laughs> I thought I had it, and I was wrong. You are a jerk. Nice. I don't know what that means, but yay! Oh, I think it's cracking. Like, if you look at its mouth, its mouth is bleeding. And its eyes are hurt. Oh, this is rough. You're a jerk. Back up. Woohoo! Can't believe we did it. The sky above cracked open. Yay! We beat the beast! <laughs> Jar of Wisps. You unlocked Hope Baby. Alright, we got the Jar of Wisps now, which is a really cool item because when you use it, it creates a wisp for you. And then I think the more you use it, the more wisps you get. It's a pretty cool item. But we did do it, and now we have a complete Bethany. That's like one of like 40 characters that we had to play with. Also, there's a button now uh, next to the sticky note. It says push R1. And now you can see the music is even different. All these characters, like something is wrong with them. Like this Isaac is peering through the door. This Maggie, her bow is on the outside. Kane's door is locked, get it? Haha, <laughs> cause Kane unlocks things. Judas has an angel or a dagger. It looks like a cross, but like curved at the end. So I think it's a dagger. 
Question mark baby is poop based. Eve has a lot of dark things. That's cool. Samson's bleeding, which is scary. Azazel? I don't know what that is. The door looks like patched up or something. I don't know. Lazarus is interesting because it's a door within a door, which is funny because Lazarus has a second version of himself. Eden's looks warped, which makes sense because like Eden always starts out with two random items. And then there's Lilith. Her door is almost exploding, like there's too much stuff inside. The Keeper's door has a coin on it, of course, because the Keeper uses money to survive. Apollyon has a void, which again makes sense. The Forgotten... I don't know. Well, the, the Forgotten's bone is on the outside, and then it looks like a sad person is on the inside. Which, again, that makes sense because the Forgotten's base form is a skeleton, and then it has like a spectral form inside of it. Oh, and then Jacob's door is actually chained shut, which is kind of scary. Like, what is in there that they don't want to get out? Anyway. But a uh, quick note about Bethany, or I don't know what to call these people. I can call them like red characters maybe because we use the red key to get them so like this is bethany r for bethany red bethany has blood power weaker items and lamegaton no idea what blood power means because bethany only uses hearts for herself so maybe more hearts makes her stronger and then weaker items means sounds like she's gonna find weaker things like instead of her picking up like cricket's head she won't find that anymore. Instead, she'll find, like, apple for trick-or-treat or whatever. No idea what Lamegaton is, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool things to learn about all of these characters. And, of course, I still don't have the Lost. So, I will do more shenanigans in the future. Until then, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.